Hello, this is Tofman Trifo Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can make planets in Blender fairly easily using this add-on called the GeoSim Planet add-on. Uh, and this for Blender 3.4, there are a lot, well not a lot, but a good number of uh, planet generators that are out there for Blender that are add-ons, but this one, it's pretty minimal in terms of uh, the parameters, but it's pretty effective. And it's not free, uh, but for the price, it's not that bad. And um, installation is still the same. I'm using 3.4. Ignore this part. This is for another add-on. This has nothing to do with the uh, GeoSim Planet add-on. Uh, but to install the add-on, this is the same process. Go to Edit, Preference, and you can just download it uh, from the link that I'll provide in the description below this video. Go to install and then navigate where you've, to where you've installed it. Click on that uh, folder to unzip it. Click on install add on. And let's type in geo. And here it is. Just put a check in the box and it's activated. And it's uh, right here. And it's pretty straightforward. Let's get rid of this cube first. It, it renders an EV and in cycles. And obviously, EV or cycles actually is better, but EV is faster. But let's delete this cube and add Geosim Planet. And it'll add this sphere, uh, sphere for you automatically. Let's change our viewport view so we can see what it looks like. Left click on that icon there. And it'll look like this initially, but just give it some time to render out. And it shouldn't take long at all, just a couple of seconds. And there you go. You can tell from this map that it's the planets, it's the uh, planet Earth. This is Australia right here. And it's got uh, the clouds and all that kind of stuff that you would see it's in space. Now all your settings right here, it's got uh, settings for the atmosphere, for the clouds, and for the surface. And if we click on this arrow, we'll toggle down. You can change the color of uh, the atmosphere. Right now it's blue. You can change it to green, anything on the color wheel basically red, purple. I can change the color separation. What that does is that it separates the colors a little bit to give it more of a more realistic feel. Has a parameters for the thickness, the density. Uh, the density fall off. You can go to the clouds also. Change the color of the clouds. Left click on that. Turn that to blue to green yellow whatever you want but let's turn it back to white just for the sake of this tutorial we don't want to have too many colors in there so one two three four five six that's the hexagonal code for white and then we have a white clouds back it you can increase the density because the higher you you crank the number the more it's going to just be covered in clouds and it'll just turn white at some point now the altitude displacement, that's pretty interesting. When you click on that, let's, let's increase the altitude to like five, enter. And you can see that it raises the clouds higher off of the planet. Um, the displacement also, you can increase that. Let's increase that, see what that does. Change that to five also, enter. That gives it more uh, space between the clouds and the planet itself. Increase the sharpness, it passes, you can increase the shadows also. I don't know if you can crank it up to a higher number than one. Let's try probably five also. Let's see what that does. Yeah. And that gives the clouds more separation from the planet itself. Now you can uh, add atmosphere to the planet's atmospheric shadows by putting a check in that box. And it adds a little bit of a shadow to the base of the clouds. It's flickering right now, I think, because it's trying to render out as I'm recording, but. When you use add-on without recording anything, it uh, doesn't do that. Let's le left click on the surface there and see what that has to offer us. There's parallax displacement, the bump distance. Let's, with the bu bump distance, that actually gives us more uh, shadows underneath the clouds. If we bump it up to like 6, it will give us a little bit more distance between the clouds and the uh, earth there but the really cool thing about this is the textures as I mentioned earlier with the textures 
of our uh, world here, it's got the texture of the earth. You can change it to whatever texture that you want, just in general. I'm going to turn this back to blue from purple because this is kind of bothering me a little bit. Um, give it more of an earthly look to it. There we go. Now, if we scroll down to textures, left click on that. It's got texture slots for the base color, roughness, specular, the height map, and the normal map. Now, there are tons of sites online that where you can download texture maps for planets. I've done a few already. Um, it's good to pretty much go to Creative Commons sites so that you don't get any issues with copyright infringement. But just type in flat maps for Jupiter. It's important to use the term or the words flat map. That way you get a flat texture to use. But flat maps of Jupiter, flat maps of Mars, flat maps of Venus, and it'll give you all these flat maps. Now the higher the I think on some of these sites you have to pay for them if you don't use the Creative Commons part of it so you can pay for the the maps but for the most part if you get a high resolution map you get a better result on uh, when it wraps around the planets in the add-on and to in order for you to actually use these maps on the add-ons all you have to do is let's go back into Blender now I always try to make these a single user by left clicking on this number two that makes it a single user and make sure you're on the right texture slot which is the base color uh, left click on that folder and you can see it opens us up to the default folder for where uh, geosims has the map of the earth now I'm going to navigate to where I've saved all these maps here left click in that right click copy minimize left click Control V, enter. And I'm going to pick the Venus one, open image. And there you go, that's that's Venus. Now we have a, a planet that is Venus. You can see that also the shadows of the clouds are now really being seen on this red map, which is cool. Now if you're able to, there's a way you can convert that base color map into a roughness map, a speckler map, and a height map and also a normal map but that's another tutorial right now it's using the base color uh, map for Venus over the earth roughness specular and normal map and the height map but you can't really tell so that's that's no problem and you can do the same thing with the clouds it's the same thing cloud map and it's the same process for trying to find cloud maps online just google it up uh, Make sure you type in cloud map flat and it'll give you there are some sites that are free but i found a few uh, that are free some that are some are paid some are free but i downloaded this map and i'm going to use that in this add-on and like i said just navigates on google find all these maps and there's this pretty easy to find and i'm going to click in here to make it a single user again on that number two left click in there i'm going to click on that uh, folder left click on there and then control V because I've saved the maps in the same folder and there's a map of the clouds I just downloaded left click on that open image and it'll take a little time to process but not too long just a couple of seconds and there you go there that's the map we just I just downloaded and those are the clouds so this is a pretty kind of an unlimited uh, way you can create planets in blender using the GeoSim Planet add-on and it works great with no issues and like I said in cycles it, it's, it looks better but for this let's let's try it out in cycles let's, let's navigate to cycles and see how it looks let me go back to um, solid viewport left click on that from EV to cycles GPU and the viewport left click on that hamburger menu go to preview Left click in there, type in 128, because that's pretty much all the samples you need when it comes to uh, denoising it. And let me click on that just for the sake of doing it on denoising. Left click on the denoiser, change it to Optic X, and then let's see how it looks in cycles. Zoom out a little bit. Left click on that icon, and hopefully it won't take too long. And there we go. And that looks pretty good. 
So yeah, this is the introduction to the GeoSim Planet Generator in Blender for 3.4. It can generate any um, planet you'd like to have. You can customize them with the parameters that I just showed you and actually add more maps to it when it comes to the texture slots. And that's today's Blender Quick Tip. And once again, I hope this was helpful for those of you who are watching. I really thank you guys who have been subscribed to the channel and those of you who have been watching the videos. It's really helped us grow quite a bit. And I hopefully, that's the purpose of the channel, hopefully it will help you guys grow and understand CGI a lot better and understand Blender a lot better also. And I once again thank you guys who have subscribed in the past, those of you who are subscribing now and those of you who will subscribe in the future. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.